Let's look at how to protect routes to ensure that we have a user. Here we're looking at a new route that I've created at uh, slash home. When you log in, this is where I'm going to redirect people. And notice I'm not logged in. We've got this login button here. Uh, so I don't, I don't actually have a user session going on here. Here's my loader for the home route. Uh, get home data requires a user ID that I want to pass in to get that data. So um, I, I, I need to do two things. First, I need to make sure that um, I have a user. And if I don't, I shouldn't even render this page. And then second, I need to get that user ID so that then I can fetch that user's data. So I'm going to do both of those things with one function. I'm going to call this, uh, so I'm going to say user ID equals, uh, what do we want to call it? We're going to call it a require user cookie or auth, require auth cookie. And then that will return me the, my user ID. And I'm just going to pass the request in here so that people don't have to think too much about how any of the stuff works inside of there. Just give me the request, and then I can get the cookie off of that inside of this function. Uh, let's put this in our auth module that we've seen before, where we've got the auth cookie. And we're going to export our async function here. Uh, I forgot what I called it, require auth cookie. Require auth cookie. And I'm going to get a request in there. And then we'll say, let's get our cookie out. And we'll say, yeah. Um, so we're going to await our auth cookie parse uh, request headers dot get cookie. Yeah, that looks good. And then um, this, is, this is the interesting part. So if I don't have a user, actually, I don't want any code to keep running. I want it to just be over, just stop. I'm, I'm right here in my code. My, I'm trying to render this UI. I get to this line of code. If I don't have a user, I don't want to have to like branch down here in my projects. Um, I guess I could call this home <laughs> in this home route and uh, have to like, if, if I don't have a user, then like render something, right? I just, I just want this, um, this component, right? Oops. I want that to be home. <laughs> I just want this home component to not have to worry about if I have a user, if I don't have a user. So Remix makes it easy to write a function like this that can just say, if I don't have a user, get out of here and do something else. So what I want to do is I want to redirect actually to the login page if I don't have a user. So I can say if um, no cookie, then actually we know that this is, this is a user ID. If I, if I just don't even have it there, then what we can do is we can throw a redirect. So we bring in this redirect from Remix, and we can throw it. In JavaScript, when you throw something, all code execution stops, and then somebody catches it. Remix is going to catch this, and then it'll execute a different uh, uh, set of code. And so in this case, we're going to throw a redirect, and then Remix will uh, send them over to the login page instead. And then um, I, like, I like to clear this out too. This is just, I don't know. Um, what, we, we saw this last time, right? We say max age zero on there. Um, what's my problem? Oh, I need to await. Uh, just in case they had a cookie there that like was bad, maybe I changed the way my cookie looks or whatever. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe they have a cookie there and it's like messed up. So I like to just also clear it out at the same time. I wouldn't stress too much about this. Uh, but the point is, we're throwing the redirect. So I'm going to save this over here. Oh, and then finally, we want to return the user ID. So try to get the user ID from the cookie if we don't have it redirect into the login page. If we do have it, just go ahead and return it. And then our code over here will execute as normally. Uh, yeah, I'm going to bring that in from auth. See if I got it. Uh, yeah, there it is. Require auth cookie. I'm going to stick it up there. And then uh, when I'm fetching the boards, I'm going to use that user ID now. So if I save this, the dev tools are going to uh, restart, and so we should see us get thrown over to the login page. Hey, man, HMR with server-side code is really cool. Uh, we actually call it HDR, hot data revalidation. 
Okay, so now if I ever try to go to the home page and I don't have a user, uh, notice we get redirected back to login. And that is how we can protect a route. Write a function that requires the auth information, and if you don't have it, throw a redirect.